Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Young Stage here in NASCAR 21. Yeah, we're here. Uh, I told people not to buy this, but it's not crap anymore. I just watched, I just shoot as I listened to, as I listened to IDK player, some guy I really don't like, admittedly, because he, he, he's one of those guys that's like real negative about everything. I'm just like, no, 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 no. We're going into this thing with open mind because I've watched Rabin play this game more recently and it seems way more playable. We're just going to avoid the super speedway stuff because it's terrible. All right, you need to have trash control on low. I'm just doing this based on what what they say. It's basically undrivable without trash control. That has to be on low as well. We have the we have all the DLC, so why should we be a regular driver when we can be, we can be a legend? <laughs> About some DW. I'm not gonna throw myself to the wolves yet. <laughs> Didn't expect that to happen. The controller died on me, and my controller is extremely dusty for some reason. What's your Charlotte? Because it's easy enough to learn. And if this game isn't even half decent, Charlotte should be fun. We'll do a five percent rate just just for the heck of it. One. You could literally have it so there's no other cars on the track except you. Uh, it's NASCAR. I don't want to play with that. At this point, I really don't. This is on sale on PlayStation. This is the complete edition I got it for $23. At that point, it's completely worth it because a little bit of fun you're going to get out of it is worth 20 bucks. It's a hometown race here in Concord. I'm not sure to shut up so you guys can hear that. I'm Alex Hayden welcoming you to Charlotte Motor Speedway for this weekend's Coca-Cola 600. This event is considered the endurance race of stock car racing, featuring 600 miles, fuel mileage, tire saving, and everything that challenges man and machine. This track features plenty of racing room with basically three different lanes. It gives drivers options, but gives crew chiefs a bit of work to do to really figure out how to get the car to work on all parts of the track. The driver that can put the car wherever they want may be in the best spot when it comes to long runs and trying to negotiate traffic. They'll have an hour in today's practice to make sure they can get that done. Now, there are no custom setups in the game, so, but it's not like I, in this, this menu does nothing. Cause these, watch what happens. Oh no, it stayed there. Uh, okay, so that's something that they did not talk about recently. So we're gonna go out on the track and we're gonna see how well Charlotte drives. I was just looking for good, consistent run here, driver. Bang, bang. <laughs> there are going to be two 17 cars. Oh my God, he's a Chevy Camaro. Oh, well, yeah, this car was a Chevrolet.
Oh, you can feel it. Oh, little scrub. Oh, I'm on a controller, and I have to say this actually feels good to drive. There's actual like side force that you can feel. This is the old car, FYI. Three and four, you need a little lift. We're gonna have to qualify because I have the AI on full difficulty. From what I hear, they're actually legitimately good. I've not been on Charlotte since they redid it for the Roval. And I have to say, it looks really weird to see, like, no grass. I actually haven't been to the track since it's been turned into a robot either, so... Again, weird. One and two, you can take it pretty much flat out. Apron doesn't even, doesn't even matter to you at all. There, now, NASCAR rules are not enabled because I don't want stages or any of that. It's only a 5% race. It'll, it'll, there are no stages, that's right. The car kind of does turn on its own, like, you can feel, oh, hi guys. We're gonna have to run a little bit higher to get these, give these guys a little bit of room. Yeah, there's still a little bit of issues with cars loading in improperly, like, like, Byron there. Oh my jeez, Byron! Get off of me! Holy nuggets. Priorities came right up into us, no respect. Yeah, the AI don't know you're there. That's another thing. They don't care that you're there. As you just saw. AI in this game are horrible. Horrible. This is one of the best driving NASCAR games ever. I mean, I have not played this at all until this video, and I've had it for like a week, so... Again, do not care that you're there. He ran, Braddock ran right into us. Not care that we existed. It's like, uh, there's nothing there. Bang. Well, uh, well, I don't know what that was. Squirrel, maybe? We're not going to spend the entire hour in practice. So we are going to skip the qualifying. Really nice job today. Building that note. We were 23rd in practice. And we are Team N21 Ignition Champion. Doesn't it say uh, Daryl Waltrip Incorporated? Because that was actually his team name. Here in Concord, North Carolina. Just about 20 minutes north of Charlotte sits this gorgeous mile and a half high banked oval. I'm Alex Hayden, and today we're qualifying for the Coca Cola 600. With all the extra team members, sponsors, and hometown crowds, drivers will want to make them proud and put their name on top. Today we'll be seeing high speeds and drivers running their car to the limit in the hopes of putting it towards the top of the pylon. The added pressure of the hometown race for these teams is just a normality at this point, but this is the Coca-Cola 600. Putting your name in the record books as a poll winner is a special moment. We'll see who can add their name to that list today. Let's go trackside for qualifying. Now, unlike pre previous NASCAR games, the, the, the AI actually used the proper page game. That used to always be an issue. They wouldn't use the right paint scheme at the right events. They would just pick a random one. All right, driver. Focus, Focus up. up. Let's get after it.
Here we go. Oh, Jesus. That's a bad lap. one and two. I'm not going to have a whole lot of time to make passes, so that's why I'm worried about qualifying. Ugh. That's not going to be a good lap, I don't think. We run 31s in practice. That's what we're going to get. Oh, no. We can't take that, man. We cannot take starting last, because we will finish pretty close to last. Still have one more here. Focus on that. Our, our practice time for okay. The thing is, restarting is takes so long in this game. And look, it says setup lap. It's like there's supposed to be something there. Like we're supposed to go around for our warm up, but they just cut it out for some reason. It was a great one at two. Can we follow up at three and four. I think we're going to be last again. No, we're not last, but we're in the back. Welcome to Charlotte Motor Speedway for one of the most prestigious races of the season, the Coca-Cola 600 here in North Carolina, the heart of NASCAR country. I'm Alex Hayden, bringing you all the action from today's race. This crown jewel event is a true test of man and machine, and the one that every Cup Series driver wants to win. Let's head trackside where the drivers and teams are making their final preparations. Who's going to get it done today in the Coca-Cola 600? You know, I I I have to say the that the the presentation in this game is top notch. If anything. This is extremely unrealistic, by the way, because where are the rest of the cars? Pace cars on track now. This is it. Get closer. Here we go. Stay green or green? They're all around. We are already losing the draft. Actually, proves how good this AI level is. They're so fast that you just lose a draft if you're if you don't have a custom setup, which is impossible. I can't change it, so this is inconclusive. It's completely inconclusive because the AI difficulty is way too hard for me.
We're putting it down to veteran. I don't care if they're too easy now. At least I can. At least I can race with them. I can't race with them on on that. And we're just gonna go race only, and then what will happen is it was give us a ran it was give us a random uh, random starting spot. And we're just gonna skip Alex Hayden's uh, nice presentation there. Alex Hayden, radio broadcaster, if you guys are unfamiliar. Welcome to Charlotte Motor Speedway for one of the most prestigious races of the season, the Coca-Cola 600 here in North Carolina. The You know, I should have made the car a little bit looser based on what, what was going on last time. This is it. Get focused. Here we go. Stay left. Clear all around. I'm going to fall in behind Ricky Stenhouse here. Again, I think they're too fast on this difficulty. They're all around. Two inside here. They didn't even throw a caution. There's no caution. Okay, so we can just wreck people? Okay, so the game does does not have cautions enabled or something? I don't see any way to make the cautions work. Here we go again. What time are we at? Well, we got plenty of time. I was about to say, because if we're close to ending the, the video being over, I'm just going to have to restart it. Yeah, because if we go down a rookie, we're just going to we'll just dust them. And it automatically makes you Ryan Newman for some reason. That's a little cryptic. NASCAR rules cannot be enabled, so there cannot be cautions. Yeah, there are no cautions at anything below 5%. I guess because it would just end the race under caution. That's probably why. That's probably why. That's probably why you can't have cautions, because it probably just would end the race under caution. Or you would start with so few laps left that you might as well have ended under caution. Welcome to Charlotte Motor Speedway. Let me get something exclusive here. Of the season, the Coca-Cola 600 here in North Carolina. The clear, clear, clear. Get ready. Coming to green. Got one right. Still next to Clear, clear. I don't talk much because I'm trying to focus. And I think Radman's right. Night racing just looks bleh. Like it's not even on this side of the track, it's not night. It's just daylight. And then there's like all this like Fake light on the track that makes no sense. It's like we're under it's like we're under a solar flare. I'm trying to see if I can run the high line there and get a run. It was not to be though because I could I couldn't hold it. We are dead last and we are not going anywhere fast.
Maybe I suck at this? Yeah, I think I'm just terrible. Nothing I can do there, I just got straight up hooked. Cause the yeah, I don't know you're there. They don't they don't care about you. So now we have now we have to wind up and go for another go for another run of three people that are in last place. Yeah, the AI are horrible. F F minus. Okay, at least they at least they don't wreck you, they don't drive into you and wreck you on purpose. So I guess F plus. <laughs> just cause they cause at least they race respectfully. They do not care about your existence, though. Yeah, there is no rearview mirror because, quote unquote, limitations. Bullshit because Na NASCAR E5 has a mirror. See, look, no respect for the player. No respect for the player whatsoever. Austin Center just dumped us for no reason. Yeah, we are, we've lost the draft completely and we're screwed now. Doesn't matter when when, he, when you can't beat the AI because they're actually I don't know good somehow. <laughs> you always hear that no matter how quickly you skip it. If for some reason it's starting us last when it shouldn't be, I can't even get a conclusive race. Definitely don't do that because <laughs> the super speedway racing is absolutely hideous in this game. Yeah, random position. Because I, I can't do, like, mid-pack. I can't just do that. So I have to hope and pray that it actually is nice to me. You know, that's kind of inappropriate to be running that now, but I do not care. Stop the cutscene! That broadcaster put their heart and soul in the nose! <laughs> Welcome to Charlotte Motor Speedway for one of the most prestigious races of the season, the Coca-Cola 600 here in North Carolina. Oh. Still, still heard the bang on the roof even though I skipped it. And they're taking off already on us. And we have... I mean, we are not a fast car anymore. But I mean, it shouldn't matter what car we are. It's a video game. Okay, this drives way worse than Waltrip's car. Holy shit. We're trying to... We're, we're hashtag stacking pennies tonight. <laughs> Larson doing back here. And we just get hooked. Blicky just hooked us. Because look, they do not care about you. Uncle Brent, he doesn't even race anymore, so why is he in that car? He wasn't in there last year either. We're just kind of sitting where we're at. We're not gaining, we're not losing. Yeah. And that just might be us out of the race because I don't think we're gonna be able to catch these guys now. I'm constantly having to steer right because, like, 
We're being pulled down the track in the straightaways. I really don't have much explanation for that, why we're being pulled downwards. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of boring racing because we're just going to be sitting here. We cannot catch these cars. They are too fast for us. And we're just fast enough to keep ahead of the guys behind us. So I almost think it might be it might be wise. I don't know what would be wise, honestly, because we can't just choose like a 15th starting position, which would be like lovely. Yeah, we can't catch these guys. We're just sitting here. But, uh... Okay, for the boring racing, if it, if it stays like this till lap 10 and we can't catch these guys, I'm just gonna end the video for no fucking reason, because... Uh, the AI just don't provide good racing. They just don't. <laughs> I mean, watch, watching them race each other, they're just kind of choo-choo racing. They don't even seem to care about each other much, either. They're just kind of there. They're not trying to advance their positions or nothing. They're just kind of there. Yeah, we are catching them because I'm actually trying to. I'm actually trying to try a little bit. I guarantee you that up ahead of this pack, which is only going to get us up to about 30th, I think, we're not going to be getting too much further. And that's gonna ruin that's gonna ruin all the momentum we had. Right about back where we were two laps ago. Two seconds ahead of ahead of Brian Priest, so we're gone from him. Yeah, we're not running terrible laps. We're just kind of where we are. Got one left. See, in order to get a, in order to get a run on Blinky, I have to push it too hard into the corner, and therefore I cause I can't he can't he won't give me the little line. He doesn't know I'm there. That is the most frustrating part about the AI in this game is that they don't know you're there. And in a NASCAR game, that's kind of important if, if for the computers to know you're there. Because uh, there's only one way around, and that's to, that's to, that's to get them in the corner. You have to get a bit of a toe off of Alfredo here. A little side draft. Now we're moving. And we've wrecked Quinn House. <laughs> so.
So that broke up this pack completely, and now we're kind of just sitting where we're at. Also, I don't see a track map anywhere, so I don't even know if there is one. So yeah, racing in this game is boring. But the cars are fun to drive. Like this actually feels really good to drive. It's the best I've felt. This is the best I've this is the best driving NASCAR game I have felt in years. I mean, NASCAR Heat never felt this good. Never. Ever. Alright, we're clear. We're gonna get in front of Blakey then. I didn't want to cross over because Spotter was saying we weren't clear. If I can get it into the top 30, I'd be okay with that. I don't think that's going to happen. We have the pace just because we wrecked, we wrecked Quinn Howe. We're not going to be able to keep up with these guys anymore. Ah, oh, turd. Well, that's the game. <laughs> There's not really a lot to it, to be honest. You go around in circles and you don't do much else. <laughs> Although the road course racing apparently in this game is insanely good. We won't have time to check that out, I don't think. Don't drove that a little too deep. I mean, we might be able to get Alfredo, and then that might be it. We have three laps to go. We don't have we don't have a way to get up to the top thirty. Admittedly, I would say go get NASCAR Heat on Switch. Because it has these cars plus the old Heat plus the old Heat AI that are actually way freaking better. Now we got into a rhythm, it only took 20 laps to do so. Now Charlotte's great to drive. One problem. Uh, what was that? You guys saw that, didn't you? All the cars just parked on the track. We did horrible as to be expected. They threw, they started us in the back. Yeah, all the cars just stop on a track. When there's a stop in the race, the cars just stop on a track. It, it's not known as to why though. Like they can't just unload them or something. Or like make them circle, or like cycle around or drive into the pits or something. What do we got? Okay, yeah, what the hell? Coda. Now, 5% of code is going to be like, we're going to do 2%. We're going to do, we're going to do, we'll do, we're going to do race only, because we can't just do race and practice. No, we can't. This will give us a chance to check out a road course. 
Hopefully it puts us in the middle of the pack so I can actually get some work done. Welcome to Austin, Texas for the first ever NASCAR Cup Series race at Circuit of the Americas. I'm Alex Hayden, and we're at one of America's newest road courses known for hosting some of the most high profile motorsports in the world. This track is full of elevation changes and tight technical turns that are sure to challenge the drivers today. All right. Now, Rat, Real Radman says this is the way to do it. You have to go road course racing in this game for it to be fun. So, let's see. <laughs> oh, we're starting P10. Good progress so far. Um, of course, they check up at a really weird time. Of course they do. We got damage. No, we don't. The way they spec up is just weird. It feels like we have damage, it really does, because the car is like not turning. It won't turn. I'm not even getting these, it will not turn. It feels like we have damage. Let's get rid of the steering assist and maybe that's what's screwing us up. Oh yeah, that feels a lot better about steering assist. I'm not used to the gearing in this game. Not at all. Quinn House in P4. That will never happen in a NASCAR career. Actually, NASCAR career is probably over, admittedly. We only have one lap, so. Yeah, real close racing is good. The AI actually are not fucking crap. <laughs> uh, we're crap. <laughs> and there's no rewinds in this game, so that's the end of that. <laughs> Unfortunately. Just snapped loose. There was nothing I could do. Now the AI will check right up, so we can probably hop like right into the top three right away. Now we're gonna we're gonna jump. Now he's gonna break. We're gonna. I know. I don't. I don't want to send McDowell every time. I really don't. This is really annoying that you just can't get a good run because the AI are so bad. Don't smack the roof. Because I don't want to hear it. Okay, we're going to check up and we're going to get right behind right behind here. And we're just going to turn Blicky because he's, he's just going to be an idiot. <laughs> Nowhere you can go there. Keep focused. And in low gear, this car has no grip. Who knew? Yeah, uh, this is worse than, than Charlotte. I mean, the road course racing is great, probably, if the car actually handled. This is not the new car. It pro I guarantee the new car will probably handle way better than this. Not a lot you can do when the brakes just lock right up.
get one lap in. That's all I want. Yeah, we're not going to be able to win now because I don't remember the gear controls. It's circle to gear down, which is odd. Normally it's normally it's triangle or 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 square. But it's triangle up, circle down. That is completely strange. And we are out of contention now. There's no chance for us to win. We're just going to settle for a poker, which doesn't exist in NASCAR, mind you. And we're out. <laughs> and we're not moving now. <laughs> not anymore, we're not. Yeah, we're down in like 20th at least. This is all grass. Got one left. All clear. And the car just broke loose. Cool. Okay, I'm not I enough of that. So yeah, this game is still shit. <laughs> three, three out of ten. I can't recommend it even in this state. I cannot recommend it. The AI are horrible. The road course, the road course, unless you can somehow figure out how to make a setup, the road course cars have no grip. I mean, there is one other thing we could try, and we have time for it. We're just going to do it as a time trial, though. There's one other type of racing we could check. I'm actually going here, so we have to give it a try. We don't have much of a choice. And we're just going to do, we can't just do one practice session, unfortunately. So we'll just do a practice session and then call it and call it. Is dirt racing actually any good? Because that's the only, might be the only redeeming quality. I mean, we're not even factoring in the AI. We already know they're Muppets. Over 23,000 cubic yards of dirt have been placed and curated to cover this half-mile concrete Okay, we don't actually have a lot of time, so I can't, we can't sit here and listen to Alex Hayden, unfortunately. Generic crew chief that kind of looks like Mark Martin. <laughs> How does the car drive on dirt? Like crud, it does not turn, <laughs> and then it spins. So Radman lied. It drives like crap on dirt, and then it just doesn't move. Um, okay. So it's terrible. Who would have thunk? It's absolutely freaking terrible. <laughs> Probably need steering assist on because that's probably what's not letting us. Not letting. Maybe yes. Maybe that's why it doesn't turn. Let's put it loose. Maybe that might help. Turn that assist off because more than likely that's probably going to ruin the loose setup. Let's knock out a nice consistent run. Nope, still doesn't turn. It just, you, it will not turn. I'm not kidding. Like, you have to, like, quit, like go real slow to get around a corner. And then in the straightaway, it goes straight into the wall. I was not turning it. So, Bristol Dirt is horrible. Noted. That is, that is trash. That is absolute trash. And it will not even go. It just spins. And then, when, and then when you get it going, it doesn't move. So yeah, F, 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 and the F. Do not buy. Peace out, guys. I have nothing else to say. This this game is appalling. It might be fun with other people, but with the AI being so bad and the dirt racing being an absolute disgrace, I have to say that this game is a fail. And I'm back on the hate train.
See you guys later.